We don't know what kind of knowledge was stored inside the library. Some people think that the secrets of the pyramids and their constructor and the Sphinx were stored inside this library and that because of the fire it was lost to us. Hi guys and welcome to my new video. I'm very sorry for the delay but I don't earn money with these videos so I had other priorities. I hope you forgive me and maybe I can make two videos this week but it's very hot in the Netherlands and I well I'm already burning away in my room <laughs> so I'm just gonna start right now before I melt into a puddle of water I have a very interesting topic this week and it's something most people don't talk about or never heard about which is really weird because this particular library had a lot of information stored and it also has a lot of mystery. Unfortunately it burned down somewhere before Christ. We have no idea what happened and this is also why there is a lot of mystery around it. Was this on purpose or was this an accident? Because paper can burn down very easily. We don't know but I'm gonna tell you a few theories about this certain subject. I'm going to talk about the Royal Library of Alexandria or the Ancient Library of Alexandria. It was, of course, located in Alexandria in Egypt. It was one of the largest and most important libraries in the ancient world. And therefore Alexandria was considered the capital of knowledge and learning. The library was dedicated to the muses and they were the goddesses of art. It had lecture halls, meeting rooms, gardens and of course collections of work. The library was a part of the Museum, or however you say it, which was a constitution and a lot of famous thinkers went there to study. The creator of the library was Ptolemy I Soter. He was a Macedonian Greek general and he was the successor of Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great was also a very important figure in ancient times and I will make a video about him another time because there are a lot of mysteries surrounding him and especially his grave. Ptolemy made Egypt a Hellenic kingdom because he was Greek himself. Alexandria became the capital of Greek culture during his reign. He even claimed, like many other important Greek figures in that time, that he was a descendant of Heracles. Heracles was the mythical founder of the Archaeid dynasty that ruled Macedon. The Egyptians appealed to him as Pharaoh and the Greeks as Vasilius, which both means king. Most of the books were kept on papyrus rolls. Papyrus material is similar to thick paper. And in ancient times it was used as writing surface and it's also made from the papyrus plant which sounds logical. Many books were brought from Rhodes where I often come and from Athens. They made copies inside the library of Alexandria and the copies were sent back to the owners, uh, previous owners and the other ones were stored inside the library. Because the library burned down we don't know how many rolls were stored inside the library but they think it would be around 40,000 to 400,000 rolls. The library burned down as we know. This was not uncommon, it happened all the time. And especially in a library because the paper can burn very fast and it spreads very fast. At least one earthquake also damaged the library and the whole city. The library became a symbol of irretrievable loss of knowledge. The Great Fire of the Library of Alexandria has become a myth and it has a lot of suspects. Many people think that Julius Caesar was behind the fire. I think most of you have heard about him. He was heavily involved with Cleopatra and they even had a child together. He was a Roman general and politician and he helped with the rise of the Roman Empire. At the end he was assassinated by some senators who were plotting this for a long time. They think that Caesar didn't do it on purpose, that it was an accident and that it happened when he was in Alexandria in 48 BC. He was inside his palace and he was surrounded by the Egyptian fleet so he ordered his men to set the fleet on fire. They think that the fire got out of control and spread to the shore and eventually to the library of Alexandria. A lot of writers claim that Caesar was responsible, including Greek historian Plutarch, Roman historian Dio Cassius and Roman philosopher and dramatist Seneca. There are also people who think that Caesar did it on purpose 
because he didn't want other people to find out important knowledge that he might have made some copies I don't think he did that because it would have taken a lot of time to make copies it would be a better idea to, to steal the rolls and just go somewhere else to back to Rome or something <laughs> and other people think that he did it because he was angry with Cleopatra and that he was so angry that he decided to burn down the library to keep all the knowledge away from her some people say that the library burned down during the battle between Queen Zenobia and Emperor Aurelian in 272 CE there is no evidence that the structure was lost but there were battles in that area there were also religious riots in 391 and 415 CE and they think that that might damage the library but they also think that it was rebuilt and that they restored the collection there are also claims that Arab troops came to Alexandria in 639 CE and that they destroyed the library of Alexandria. The troops were led by General Emru Imp al As. Caleb Omar wanted to see the library because he heard that the collection was amazing. He was not impressed and he decided to use the papyrus rolls as fuel for the 400,000 bathing houses in the area. The library of Alexandria was a Christian library, so it was not a place that they could go to otherwise he would contradict the Quran and that would be seen as heresy some people think that the library just stopped existing because it was way too expensive to keep going or that they burned it down because of that reason there are also important writers from 20 BC who claim that the library wasn't as important as it was before the fact that this was written 28 years later then when they think that Caesar burned the library down suggests that the library was still there and that Caesar had nothing to do with it it could also mean that the library burned down later it could be that they just continued the library even though it burned down but that they lost a lot of important information we don't know what kind of knowledge was stored inside the library some people think that the secrets of the pyramids and their construction and the Sphinx were stored inside this library and that because of the fire it was lost to us the work of Barossus by Lonaca was also lost he covered the history of the world in three volumes the first volume described everything that happened between the creation and the great flood he even estimated as being 4032 thousand years before his time and that is way longer than the Old Testament states of course we don't know if the Old Testament is true it depends on what you believe a lot of work from Hero of Alexandria was also lost in the fire or at least they think it was lost in the fire he was the greatest experimenter of the Greek antiquity he invented steam engines and hydrostatic fountains millennia before the systems became commonly used we know this because Arabic scholars have found some of his work luckily and they saved them for us the worst thing that was possibly lost was from Aristarchus of Samos sometime in the third century he figured out that the earth orbits the sun and not the other way around he also correctly deduced the order of the planets and he knew that the solar system was many times bigger than was estimated maybe if we had all the information of the library of Alexandria we would be more advanced than we were now maybe we are 2000 years behind we will never know if we would be more advanced but it's very nice to think of it maybe we would have seen aliens by now or maybe we we knew how they built the pyramids and that is one of the things I really want to find out one day some people believe that the aliens did it I think that we were just more advanced than we think we were and I really want to know the answer to that in 2002 the new library of Alexandria was opened and it functions as a modern library and a cultural center just as it did so many years ago so this was my video about the library of alexandria i really hope you liked it i really hope that you learned things you never knew before the next time i will talk about atlantis i wanted to do this video about atlantis but it was a lot of work there's so much information i hope i can complete it this week i'm not gonna promise anything though if you like this video please leave a like underneath this video leave a comment if you want to let me know what you think or if you want to suggest another subject or want to give me advice that is always welcome and if you like it even more please subscribe to my channel that would mean a lot and it would help me a lot and i hope to see you next time bye